welcome to this cryptocurrency course. I'm very excited to talk to you about this topic. We are living in exciting times as you'll find out in the following videos. I'm going to tell you why cryptocurrency is important and why we need it and what you can do with it. Uh, the information that I'm giving in the following videos and in this, in this video is not investment advice okay so this video course that I've created is not investment advice there's no investment advice in it and you should do your own research before deciding to invest in the cryptocurrency market now now I've got that out of the way let's get started what is cryptocurrency it's a digital currency and it's also called the internet of money and anybody can use it you don't need permission from say the government to be able to use cryptocurrency and it's actually being considered by many as the future of currency so what's appealing about cryptocurrency is that it's not issued by any central authority and it, so it's theoretically immune to government interference or manipulation another great factor about cryptocurrency is that it allows you to pay somebody directly without the invol involvement of a bank or a corporation because nowadays when you're paying somebody if it's not through cash there usually is a bank or a corporation that has to be involved in the transaction such as PayPal Apple Pay etc and they not only charge you for your transactions but they also monitor your transactions so if you pay the wrong person or for whatever reason you violate their terms your account can be terminated okay and you have to realize that we're moving towards a cashless society and it's better that people have control over their money rather than a bank or a corporation or even a government having control over it other reasons why people buy cryptocurrency is because they want to profit from short-term gains uh, for long-term investment purposes and also just to avoid supporting the fiat system and the Federal Reserve. As of the time that I'm making this video, there are over 1,300 different types of cryptocurrencies. And the most popular one, of course, is Bitcoin. It's currently priced at around $12,000, but the good news is that you can buy a fraction of it. And there are currently 21 million Bitcoins, and that is actually the limit to how many Bitcoins there are. So just like gold, there is a limited supply, but not all cryptocurrency, I believe, have a limited supply. And if you want to buy Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies, you purchase them from exchanges. Okay, And the exchange that I use uh, to purchase Bitcoin is Coinbase.com. Okay, This is a very popular site where people go to buy Bitcoin. Uh, so I recommend if you are going to purchase Bitcoin, um, you could try out other sites as well, but go ahead, try out Coinbase.com if you haven't uh, made any purchases yet for cryptocurrency. Uh, go there, try it out, open an account, and basically you could have your very first uh, cryptocurrency today. And cryptocurrency is getting more popular by the day as more people realize the profit potential from buying and selling cryptocurrency. A lot of profit can make from cryptocurrencies because when they first launch usually they only cost a few cents uh, one example is a cryptocurrency named stratus uh, which launched at less than two cents so you could have bought stratus at two cents and about a year later it went up to three dollars so there are a lot of people that have become millionaires from buying certain cryptocurrencies when they first launch and selling them one or two years later. If you're going to be involved in cryptocurrency, it's good to know what a blockchain is or at least be familiar with it because a blockchain is an integral part of cryptocurrency and some claim that blockchain is the next disruptive technology after the internet. Okay, It's basically a public ledger or a database for cryptocurrency transactions although it can be used for other applications okay and everybody has access to a blockchain similar to how a Google document can be shared with thousands of people and it's not stored in any single location 
And what's great about blockchains is that they cannot be controlled by any single entity. So a blockchain is a great form of decentralized technology. It has the potential to be used in other industries, not just for cryptocurrencies. For example, it can be used for stock trading. So intermediaries such as the clearinghouse can be eliminated from the trading process. It can also be used for elections to reduce voting fraud. And there are dozens of other examples. One way to profit from cryptocurrencies is through ICOs. ICO stands for Initial Coin Offering. And it's similar to IPOs. If you don't know what an IPO is, uh, it stands for Initial Public Offering. And it's when a company goes public and sells shares to the public for the first time. And you can look at ICOs as a combination of IPO and crowdfunding. Okay, so it's basically when a company is looking to raise funds for a new business venture. Uh, in this case, it's uh, an idea or a project for a blockchain. Okay, and if you do decide to invest in these new companies or ICOs, uh, what you're going to receive in return is a new type of cryptocurrency issued by that company as opposed to an IPO where you receive equity in the company if you decide to buy shares uh, in a company. So this is why ICOs are attractive for some companies. It's because they don't have to give up any equity in their business. There's also very few regulations for ICOs, unlike IPOs, making it much faster to raise money. For example, there's much less paperwork involved, red tape, and third-party agencies to deal with. Let me give you a couple of examples of successful ICOs. There's Stratus, which launched at less than two cents, and a year later, it was $3. And there's also Ethereum, which launched at around 30 cents. And as of the time of making this video, it's currently over $800. And it's been about three years since it launched. And so there's quite a few people that have made millions uh, with these ICOs. Now, I'm not saying you're going to make millions. And ICOs are becoming more popular than IPOs. In the last year, blockchain companies have raised twice as much money as companies have raised through IPOs. Everybody has different strategies when it comes to investing in ICOs. And some people just decide to flip ICOs instead of holding them for the long term. What's great about ICOs is that they're more liquid than regular investments. For example, if you invest in a new company and you buy shares, usually you have to wait years to be able to sell your shares. Uh, with ICOs, you can sell it within a few days or weeks. If you're looking to invest in ICOs, there's new ICOs every week. But please, please do your due diligence because there are many bad ICOs and it can be a gamble for you. And I don't want to see you lose your money.